Coming to America 2. This is the long-awaited sequel that finally came out on Amazon Prime this week. It's been 33 years since the original Coming to America was released. In this film, it stars Eddie Murphy, Arsenio Hall, Jermaine Fowler, Leslie Jones, Tracy Morgan, Wesley Snipes, Kiki Lene, Shari Headley, Headley, and many, many more with lots of cameos. This is the second time Eddie Murphy and Craig Brewer teamed up on a movie, with the former being Eddie's acting resurgence and Dolomite is my name. I guess Craig Brewer just knows how to get great performances out of Eddie Murphy with his directing. And might I say, Eddie is back. He is funny in this, just like in Dolomite is my name. Um, It shows what impressive talent Eddie Murphy is as a comedian and actor as well. Alongside Eddie is our senior Hall, is, who is acting just as good right along with him, even as multiple characters. The extra characters Hall does is what stands him out from Eddie in the film. Our senior Hall is hilarious as Reverend Brown and Baba, the witch doctor. It seemed everyone stepped up their game with Wesley Snipes standing out from the crowded cast. Just his walk in the film I found very funny, along with his facial expressions. I loved watching this movie and laughed multiple times. It is refreshing because I was so nervous going into this movie because of all the bad comedy sequels that have come out after a long time lapse. This has been 33 years. Um, and the recent sequel comedy sequels have been just terrible, just awful. Uh, I could not stand watching Dumb and Dumber 2. Super Troopers 2 was not funny at all and seemed like their creators did not care. And then there was Zoolander 2, the worst of them all. Uh, Zoolander 2 actually ruined the original Zoolander for me a little bit because I will not, because subconsciously I will think of it when watching the original, which is so great. Zoolander 1 is one of the best comedy films ever. And although Bill and Ted Face the Music was not bad that came out this year, but it was just boring. But Coming to America 2 is a vast improvement over those comedy sequels. I would say it is the best comedy sequel that took more than a decade to come out. Uh, The story is still simple and predictable. The plot of the film sees King Akeem, Akeem now going back to America to find his bastard son to take over the throne and marry the daughter of the neighboring country in order to prevent a war. Akeem's son, Lavelle, needs to pass tests to prove he is the right heir to the throne while Akeem's daughter, Princess Mika Jafar, has been training her whole life to rule Zamunda. But women have no rights in Zamunda and cannot rule as a leader. This is a typical fish out of water story with the message of acceptance of culture, and just the acceptance of love in someone's life and who they choose to marry. This movie gets a pass on being basic because it is a comedy, and if I laugh throughout the movie, then I will forgive and forget. As I said before, this movie is extremely funny with multiple cameos. Colin Jost has a good cameo in it it, uh, with a funny back and forth conversation with Jermaine Fowler. Uh, The movie saw the return of James Earl Jones, too, which was great to see him again. There's one other great cameo in the movie by Morgan Freeman. The cameo did what every great cameo does. It got me excited to see the actor. It did not take away from the main characters, and it was funny. The jokes in this movie were very funny and also topical and smart. The jokes were written intelligently. Not every joke had me laughing, but I was smiling after every punchline. They even make a joke towards Ron Tomatoes in the movie that I loved and probably my favorite joke of the movie. Someone needs to make Ron Papaya website and that is all I'm saying. As a whole, this movie is just superb. You get transported into Zamunda. The costume design is perfect. Everyone in Zamunda is dressed in lavish dresses and suits. Clothing tells a lot about a person's culture. And the clothes in this movie tell the story of people of Zamunda. Kiki Lene wears a fabulous puma 
dress that looks incredible. Every piece of clothing Eddie and Wesley had on fit to their character perfectly and made them look gorgeous and incredible and just stood out the clothing, the costume design really stood out. And it's Ruth E. Carter who did the incredible job with the costume design in this movie. She recently won the Oscar for her costume design on Black Panther. And I think she deserves a second Oscar for coming to America. The special effects were great too. Uh, one of Levy's challenges is to get a lion's whisker. The lion looked great and very realistic. I couldn't believe it. There's even a little fart joke with the lion too that had me laughing. Um, there are also a few flashback scenes from the original Coming to America with extra scenes filmed. And in, in those scenes, Eddie and Arsenio look just like they did in 1988. I could not believe this movie had such great CGI. To go along with the CGI, the makeup they put around it was great and just blended well with each other. Each time Arsenio Hall or Eddie Murphy would play another character in the film, the makeup made the character even more believable and funny. <clears throat> Each time Arsenio Hall and Eddie Murphy would play another character in the film, the makeup made the character even more believable and funny. This movie is filled with a bunch of fun scenes and musical performances as well. I enjoyed watching the movie and happy the sequel came out and managed to be good as it was. I give Coming to America four out of five stars.